look, this is the human heart, and we're trying to uh, explain to you what, how the heart is studied, how to study the main features of the heart. So, for example, the heart, when it sits in your body, it, it sits in this way. This is the flat surface. It sits on the diaphragm. And that is what is its anterior surface at the front. This is the left side, of course. That is your right border. And as you can see, the heart has got four chambers, as you know. The anterior part, these are ventricles. This is the right ventricle. This is the left ventricle. And that is the right atrium. The right atrium is the one that receives the blood from the, all the body below the diaphragm. From the As a professor for anatomy, tell us more about the experience and competence you bring to the table. The anatomy is one of the important uh, disciplines or topics in medical education. And here at St. Helen University School of Medicine, we're starting with a very vigorous and very unique way of teaching anatomy. We are allocating more hours for anatomy than average anatomy elsewhere, even in the U.S. We're allocating around 150 hours of anatomy for our students. We believe that anatomy makes the foundation of any medical career. So that's why we are focusing on teaching anatomy together with other basic sciences here. How we are teaching anatomy here, we're using plastinated human specimens. And the plastinated human specimens are unique specimens. They have been introduced to teaching anatomy here for the past three or four decades. They are becoming now very popular, where normal or ordinary human tissue is preserved in silicon that makes it permanently usable and could be handled by students to study the structures. Plastination is not superior to dissection. Dissection is an important part in learning anatomy. But at this stage, with the current available resources, plastination is becoming a very useful uh, alternate. It's actually it's an adjunct, but at this stage we are using it uh, to replace dissection. So what is the idea now? Students have more time in learning anatomy. For example, in our anatomy curriculum, students have a lecture at the beginning, usually one to two in the afternoon, and from two to four, we spend two hours on the plastinated specimens, trying to review in the lab trying to review all the structures that are related to that part of the body. And this gives the students a very good opportunity to learn anatomy in a better way. We are lucky that we have limited number, small number of students. The class size is small at this stage. With available resources, it's really getting very interesting. Students are very much interested and dedicated to learn anatomy. How would these specimens assist students with learning? Okay, the specimens are carefully dissected to show the important parts that the students need to see. Every part of the body in these specimens is carefully dissected. And most of these specimens are also painted. The vessels, the nerves are all painted. So students have the ability to see all these specimens and see the essential items that they need to see for any particular session. So they are available, it's all dissected, it saves them time. The students will need to look at them to search for the specimens or for the essential items. So the learning is there. Students will have the ability to learn and to have more use of time. So time spent in the lab with these specimens will be more efficiently spent. You want to differentiate between what has been used and what we have now. Tell us about it, Professor. Well, plastinated specimens, to my knowledge, are the first time have been used here in this island, in this medical school, at St. Helen University School of Medicine. It's a great opportunity. We're having a good selection of specimens, in addition, of course, to the anatomical models that we have. We are going to have more specimens coming up. And the students have, again, this opportunity that they go themselves, spend time with the faculty as well, with the help and guidance of the faculty, to see all the important structures that they need to see for that session. And it's, uh, it's available, they are all painted, and they are all covering gender, both genders, and various parts of the human body. So it is a very unique opportunity for our students to learn anatomy. Plastinated specimens, it's important to mention that these belong to donated people. People donate their cadavers, their bodies, for the sake of education. So we always here in this lab, we emphasize to the students that they should deal with utmost respect with these specimens. They should not abuse the specimens. And in the lab, of course, we ban any photography, eating or drinking, 
within the lab. Students should deal with, the, with, with utmost respect again with these specimens. It's a way of respecting the specimens, one, one way of appreciating the donation that we had in this field.